Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fall Bath & Body Works candle haul. I did go a little, I wouldn't say crazy, but I did get a lot of candles and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. So I also have one little Target candle down here to show you guys too. I'm also at a little bit of a different angle. Um, just the sun was like not working with me where I usually film, which is just a little bit to the left. So this is our spot for today. But I also wanted to mention my little doggy in a Halloween costume earrings because I got these from TJ Maxx and I love them so much. So now that we've gotten that out the way, let's go ahead and get into the candles. So first candle I have here to show you is just from Target. And this little guy was $6.99 from Hearth and Hand. And this is Salted Honey. This one went viral on TikTok as apparently a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro scent. Honestly, in this mini one, and it did just get shipped to me, so maybe that's why I can't really smell it that well, but it doesn't smell very strong. <laughs> but I mean, this little thing is so small, uh, $7. I probably should have gotten the bigger one, but the only other size was like a five wick, and it was like 70 bucks. It was literally the size of a personal pizza. It was huge, so I don't know if I was ready to commit to that. <laughs> So I'm going to try this one. I'll probably just try it in like the bathroom or something and I'll let you guys know. But yeah, it's really pretty though. Very happy that I have this. So that's this little guy. All right, now that I've brought the box a little closer, it's pretty heavy. I'm actually going to get the body care out of the way. I did pick up one item. This is the Vampire Blood Fine Fragrance Mist. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is Red Berries, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Petrifying Plum. So I redeemed a free item reward for this guy and... I'm kind of being a, becoming obsessed with Vampire Blood. So I'm excited about this one. I do have to say I'm worried about putting it on uh, white clothing because I'm wearing white today. So I probably won't spray it on me right now, but it smells so good. It's a very delicious, plummy, strawberry -y scent. It smells so good. So I picked up Vampire Blood. I just kind of had to do that. Okay, let's get into some candles. I did talk about a few of these on my fall wish list. If you haven't seen that, that was posted earlier this week. Um, but I didn't get all the candles on my wish list, just some of them. So the first one here is Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. I had heard so many great things about this one, so I had to pick it up and try it myself. It is Farm Fresh Blueberries, Ripe Pumpkin, and Autumn Spice. It definitely has like a clove scent note, but I wouldn't say it's like a gourmand blueberry. It's not really close to blueberry pie, which is what I was hoping it would be like. I think because that clove is in there, um, even though it doesn't say clove in the notes, it just says autumn spice, I get like total clove, clove notes um, and nutmeg. So yeah, it's a very spicy blueberry. I like it. it smells pretty good. It's nothing too complex, so it's very simple. It's more like a, ra a berry um, jam than it is like a fresh berry, fresh blueberry. So if you're into that, you will like this one, but I'm just excited to try it. Okay, next we have Cinnamon Spice Vanilla, and I know this is not necessarily a fall candle, but I've just been craving it, especially in the mornings when I'm burning or melting some sort of coffee scent, and uh, I'm so excited to have this one burning in the kitchen in the mornings. It's ground cinnamon sugar crystals and vanilla bean, just a super simple scent. I've had this before. It's like a six out of 10 on throw. It's not very strong. It's still stronger than just like vanilla bean, but... <laughs> Yeah, it's just like a very nice, simple, cinnamony vanilla, and I'm very excited to have it. Next one in the same kind of packaging line is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Now this one is a standard for me every single fall. I have to have it. It is Golden Waffles, Maple Syrup, and Pumpkin Spice. I would definitely have preferred to pick this up at like SAS for $8, like I have pretty much every year in the past, um, but I did not find it at SAS this year, so I just had to pick this one up. I think I purchased these candles for like $11.95 or $11.50 or something like that. It wasn't the best deal, but I had been just craving fall candles, so I just kind of <laughs> bought them anyways, so whatever. But pumpkin pecan waffles is maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. I just sniffed that lid, you guys, and it smells so good. I'm so excited for this one. If a candle makes you sing, that's when you know it's really good, but this is a very nostalgic scent for me. I said this time and time again, but it reminds me of living with my college roommates and we would burn this in the fall, like watching NFL games at the house. Oh, so good. So this is like my 
football watching candle and anytime I like want to feel nostalgic for like fall this one is it so good okay next one we have pumpkin cinnamon bun this one I actually have not had before even though it's been out I think this is the third year um it's warm cinnamon roll pumpkin spice and vanilla frosting I was really craving some sort of like gourmand scent so that's why I got this one I also think this is going to be a great one in the mornings with some sort of coffee scent um it smells really good it honestly is giving me like some dough dough notes which i love that it smells like fresh cinnamon roll dough oh that smells so delicious so i'm very excited to try this one i've heard it's pretty strong i'm hoping it's not too cinnamony while burning it because sometimes that like makes me feel icky i don't know so i'm very hopeful for this one and i'm excited to try it next we have champagne apple and honey i've picked this one up i think every year for the past like three years i love this scent it is crisp apple sparkling champagne and jasmine honey if you don't know i did put a full champagne apple and honey set in my um, project use it up for the fall it is like one of my favorite scents and so perfect to transition you into fall especially if you live somewhere warmer like i do in the south um, I live in Texas. It really doesn't even get cold during the burr months for us during September, October, and even November. It doesn't really get cold. We get like 70s and 60s maybe. So this one is great for the first couple of months whenever it's still 90 or 80 and you don't feel like it's fall, but this one makes you feel a little bit more like it, even though it's just an apple scent. But this one smells exactly like the body care. It's word for word, exactly like the body care smells so delicious it's a great performer i usually put this one in my bedroom or it's also really good after you've been cooking it kind of gets rid of a smell so i love this one it's so yummy all right we're on the last candle now we have harvest gathering right here i'm not the biggest fan of this packaging for this year's harvest gathering but i do love this candle it is my staple november scent it just smells like thanksgiving it is fresh picked apple autumn berries and clove buds and it does say it right here apples berries and clove so this one is for sure a very spicy scent like if you don't like how the michaels craft store smells or like how those like scented pine cones smell you won't like this but this one just smells like quintessential fall to me it is so yummy and it feels it feels like warm for some reason which makes me like not want it in september or october it feels like it's meant for November. It's meant for colder weather. Like it's just so yummy. Honestly, a harvest gathering is still kind of applicable to to winter. If this was like a winter spiced wreath or a winter spiced cranberry or something, it would be the same thing. Honestly, now that I'm smelling it, it does kind of remind me of Christmas. So this one might be a November to December scent, but yeah, I'm very excited to have harvest gathering. I've had it time and time again. It is like an eight out of 10. It's a super strong performer and I just absolutely adore her. Okay, so that is my short six candle, well actually seven candle haul for you guys. And sadly, I think that might be the last fall candle haul that I do for the season. Even though I had big hopes of buying a lot of candles, um, I have a lot left over. <laughs> and a lot of the ones that are left over are like pumpkin candles that I'm gonna want to burn in October. And I know I was, I was like, I'm so debating on if I should do a huge Goose Creek haul. You guys should let me know down below. I know they were doing a Labor Day sale six for $70 or seven for $60. That's what it was. Um, and I missed it. I should have just bought it, but I missed it. Should I buy Goose, Goose Creek? What do we think of Goose Creek right now? I know the Little Debbie stuff is like super hot and I'm, I'm very impressed by them partnering with Little Debbie and Scooby-Doo. So cute. So let me know what you guys think of Goose Creek right now. Should I do a huge Goose Creek haul or should I call it a quits and not buy any more fall candles? Because we know they're gonna start previewing the Christmas scents, um, I don't know, mid-October, I think. I think they'll definitely, we've already seen them out in test stores, so maybe September, but I think they'll actually hit the stores like mid-October. So yeah. I just know myself, I'm gonna wanna buy the Christmas ones. So why even do more candles? I don't know. So anyways, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.